Hey guys, how are you doing? We're going to talk about Aussie dollar. And um, as you can see, the FX Delta software picked up this setup here, which in my opinion fits perfectly with all the manual analysis and everything else that I'm looking at. So I do believe this is a pretty uh, interesting setup and thus I'm sharing it. Now, first thing we need to mention is that in terms of delta, we have a delta on the opposite way, which is the daily chart pushing downwards. However, however, uh, we can see that there is bullish divergence against it, right? So this is not the most reliable pattern that you're going to see when it comes after divergences. This one worked out pretty nice, but as we can see, there was no divergence here, right? Now here we already have divergence and there is still no hidden divergence against it. So I'm not really concerned about the daily chart. Now, on the four hour chart, back to that, we can see that there is a cycle which reminds, a red wave cycle which reminds an impulsive structure. However, on the daily chart, this is not as clear as it looks on the four hour chart, right? I'm using it as a guideline here, not as the major. Um, factor pushing me towards a buy so i'm not really concerned concerned once again whether this is the correct count or this is going to turn into uh one two three four and five actually that makes much more sense now building up wave number uh three in my opinion but in any case i do see the price pushing upwards whether it is this one or that one at the end of the day okay i still see pullbacks and continuation up all right so it, it really doesn't matter how we're going to label it all it matters is that i see the price pushing upwards now in terms of levels uh actually before the level sorry i almost forgot look what else we're getting here we're getting a bullish hidden divergence pushing into bullish territory now so Technically speaking, we need to see this thing uh, ticking up in order for the hidden divergence to be confirmed. But overall, the pressure is there. Okay. Now I'm going on another chart here to check out the levels. And the big yellow lines are monthly pivots. The white stuff, the white uh, lines, not stuff, is the weekly. And um, those again yellowish are the daily now this is about the pivots furthermore we do have a buffer zone so basically this is your uh, strongest level in terms of supply demand and many times the price is going to test one level below one level above right so i call this a buffer zone as per my dictionary but overall, what it means is that the price tends to stop and play around these levels. Actually, we got a break to the upside. Now it's pushing lower, and I do expect uh, that this is the first zone where the price might be stopping and reversing. If we break below and let's say we do something like that larger ABC structure uh, to the downside, what I will be looking for is the next zone so let me just close telegram sorry i forgot to close it uh is the next zone right here which suggests that if the price pushes lower this is the zone to watch out for okay now this is already a pretty decent level that being the bottom of the buffer zone 60 was that 6860 all right we also have daily pivot and we do have weekly pivot and we do have the previous spike and the previous zone uh, which is kind of a swing when we look at the the price i wouldn't call this a swing i would call this one a swing then move down this is a swing double bottom this is a swing breakout lower this is a swing right and when we take a look at the rest of the factors we can apply here we had divergence right on a monthly level 
This divergence turned into convergence, creating a bullish reversal. And this bullish reversal formed a very tiny consolidation. We were looking to buy right here already in the traders terminal. Uh, I personally didn't enjoy this move to the upside because I was looking for another type of setup. But overall, the setup remains the same. There is no divergence here. There is nothing, right? We, in fact, have a divergence which is supporting the idea of bullish continuation for at least one more leg to the upside, which brings us to the levels in terms of resistance on the opposite direction. So this is 79.50 approximately. Definitely something to pay attention to. This is also the top of the buffer zone next to this level. And now we have a triple level here, all right? Slightly above, we have the monthly pivot, which is again, something we need to pay attention to. And in pure levels, we can see that this is definitely a zone. You can go ahead and use the spikes as well, but basically plenty of levels in um, above the current market price. So it really depends where exactly the price is going to stop and what kind of risk reward ratio we're going to be looking at. Then we need to compare it versus these levels and make the decision, all right, it works or not. In terms of entries, I will be waiting here for um, this one to provide FX Delta to provide a signal. Once the signal is there, I'm looking for a conservative signal because the general direction is still bearish, right? We're looking at possible first like maybe something like that then continuation maybe not we don't know nobody knows we we can uh, forecast we can have a pretty good probabilities there but no one knows for sure all right and since this is still a bearish trend officially right we still haven't started doing higher highs and higher lows in daily chart to start calling this a bullish trend like here it happened for example for a short period of time, but this is daily bullish trend. Now on the lower time frames, we do get these reversal patterns and the price started pushing to the upside, but on the higher time frames, this is still um, opposite direction, right? So I need to be careful and I'm going to be trading this thing conservatively. That's all, nothing more, nothing less. We have the levels, we have the delta pattern, we have the divergences in place. I think this is a pretty decent setup. Of course, this is not a financial advice, just my opinion here shared and overall analysis along with the softwares. So that would be all guys. If you have questions, please let me know and uh, I'll reply as soon as possible. Thank you.